Color is one of the seven elements of art. And did you know that color can be symbolic, expressing moods or emotions? These are the primary colors, red, blue, and yellow. Red is known for its passion and its strong emotions like anger or love. While blue is more mellow, so much so that blue sometimes feels cold or even depressing. Yellow is warm, upbeat, and full of joy. When colors are highly saturated, they look vivid and intense, where low saturation colors are much more muted and subtle. How dark or light a color is refers to its value. When we change the value or saturation of a color, we also change the mood or feeling it induces. You can really start to see how these primary colors create a mood in art when you look at paintings like this, or this, or even this one. But the fun of these three colors really begins when we start to mix them to create new colors we call secondary colors. Red and blue make purple, red and yellow make orange, and blue and yellow make green. If we keep up the color mixing and combine a primary color with a secondary color, we get our tertiary colors. These are the ones where the colors you mixed are right there in the name, like yellow-green, red-orange, blue-green, blue-violet, red-violet, or yellow-orange. You can find all these colors on the color wheel. If we look closely at our color wheel, we can see all the relationships between these colors. First are our primary colors, which are found in this triangular arrangement on the color wheel. If we look at red and yellow, we can figure out that the colors they make when mixed will go in between. The same goes for blue and yellow and red and blue. Now we do the same for the tertiary colors and our color wheel is complete. You should end up with warm colors on one side of the color wheel and cool colors on the other. Huh? What? Huh? Yes, colors not only have moods, but they also have a temperature. Colors that evoke warmth are called warm colors. Think about a bonfire or a sunset. Colors like red, orange, and yellow make us feel warm and cozy. While colors like purple, blue, and green remind us of the calmness of night or the coolness of water. Colors that look good together are said to be in harmony. So how does an artist choose which colors will go well together? Well, let's go back to our color wheel. Colors across from each other on a color wheel are called complementary colors. When they are used together, they make the strongest contrast and stand out. If you prefer less contrast, you could choose colors that are right beside each other on the color wheel for an analogous color scheme. Another option would be to use a variation of a single hue. By adding white to a color, you create a tint, which is a lighter version. You can also make a color darker by adding black to create a shade or by adding gray to create a tone. Using tints, tones, and shades of a single hue, artists are able to create monochromatic color schemes. Any of these methods are a good way to choose a color scheme for your work. Color communicates directly with our senses. Do you want to use color to create harmony or to make the viewer feel uncomfortable? Is your message love, happiness, or isolation? Russian painter Vasily Kandinsky once said, color is a power which directly influences the soul. So as artists, we must remember to use that power wisely. <laughs>